Without further ado, let's welcome to the stage one of the leading voices changing the creative landscape in the region, chairwoman of the Red Sea Film Foundation, Jumana Al Rashid. Thank you, Rayel. Thank you, Ibrahim. Ladies and gentlemen, Masal Khair. And thank you for being with us tonight at the closing ceremony at the third edition of the Red Sea International Film Festival. I stand before you this evening humbled by the collective power of our creative community, inspired by the stories they have told, proud of what we have achieved together, and grateful to the roles you played in the making this a success, our esteemed guests, filmmakers, and of course, our renowned jury members, led by the absolutely brilliant Baz Luhrmann. How about the selections this year? At the beginning of the festival, we aim to achieve a set of goals, to bridge, to bind, and to build. In bridging, this festival has demonstrated that language has never been a barrier, but a bond, and that cultures do not clash, but converge. With 125 films from Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, Morocco, the United States, Rwanda, Kenya, Malaysia, Pakistan, New Zealand, France, India, Thailand, and many, many more. Together, our emotions ran high and low. And with every tear shed and every burst of joyous cheers, a connection was formed. And in an instant, we were no longer strangers, nor foreign to one another, but a community united in film. In building, over the past eight days, six programs within the Red Sea Labs came to their conclusion, enabling the next generation of filmmakers. And while the Red Sea Souk saw 350 project submissions and 44 works in progress from more than 26 countries, I had the honor of presenting the Foundation's awards this year. And let me tell you, the energy was contagious. As awarded creators rejoice in their accomplishment. Through these programs, we intend to build the next generation of filmmakers. And through the Foundation, we intend to propel them erecting monuments of film history, one story at a time. And in binding, as the freedom of our present experience is forever confined into our memories, we will find ourselves revisiting these defining moments when we realize the magnitude of our rules and recalling the remarkable people who decided to be part of history, not observers of it, moments and people that made the third edition of the Red Sea International Film Festival. But our greatest achievement, of course, has been the community we garnered here at home, whose passion and dedication is only matched by their drive and brilliance, a community that has realized their collective dreams as a result of the young and growing film industry in Saudi Arabia and the region an industry that did not exist just a few years ago, but today employs thousands of young women and men across hundreds of newly established companies and institutions. A community that I have personally come to view as family, especially within the Red Sea Film Foundation, without whom none of this would have been possible. So join me please once more in celebrating them. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an honor hosting you here in the beautiful city of Jeddah. You are forever woven into the fabric of our narrative, cloaked in the history we've created. And while the festival is ending, our work continues. We'll see you at Cannes, we'll see you at Toronto, we'll see you at Venice, we'll see you at our master classes, at our labs, at our lodge. And we'll see you in our ambitions and we'll see you in our collective achievements. As always, I'm grateful to all of you who came here to tell your stories at your festival. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>